Now, maybe you've come up with a straightforward chord progression, but you want to give it a fusion-like sound, or maybe you want to push it in the direction of progressive rock, where all these interesting sounds and rhythms are going on. Well, in this tutorial, I want to share some suggestions on uh, how to add notes, adapt chords, and even beyond this, and use some really daring solutions to establish a much more interesting sound. Now, this tutorial isn't so much about rhythm, but uh, more about chords and how to adapt them so it will fit a fusion and progressive rock style better. Well, in this video, I want to show you how to adapt power chords by adding sevens and nines, and we will turn a very straightforward chord progression into a jazzy sounding riff. And we'll look at the quartal chords uh, that can help us to establish that ambiguous fusion and progressive rock sound. Now, say we have this simple chord progression, which could be any pop song. Maybe in pop and rock, the B minor chord is often played as a D chord, but the rest is your plain uh, pop song chord progression. So that will be E minor, C major, A minor, and B minor. Now, as you can see, this is a one, six, four, five chord progression. And it could sound like this in a very simple song. The first thing we're going to do is to strip down the chords from the third, leaving us with only fifth intervals, uh, which are of course power chords. And we'll end up with this progression. And of course it will sound familiar, like this. Now we have to understand that fourths, fifths and octaves are intervals that thicken the melody rather than uh, adding an independent second voice like uh, the thirds and the sixths. In other words, the fourths, fifths and octaves sound more like uh, one note than two. Now this is the reason that these intervals were avoided in classical music when used as parallel melody lines. Nowadays we are used to this sound and it's perfectly alright to use parallel fourths and fifths and octave intervals. Now, by layering the seventh of the chord on top of the power chord, we will add a nice color to the sound. Now, because we avoid the third, which is responsible for major and minor, the chord will stay ambiguous. So it's not defined as minor or major. So this is the progress progression building up. First, only the root notes. Then it will thicken by addition of the fifth. And finally, it colors by the addition of the seventh. The dissonance of the seventh in combination with the distortion will make the riff much more aggressive and energetic. Now, just when we add the seventh, adding the ninth uh, colors the power chord too. Although the ninth opens up the sound more than the seventh does, and the ninth makes it much more wider. It's definitely one of my favorite ways to make a power chord sound more interesting. Theory wise, you could say that a power chord and the ninth together create a sus2 chord. Now, instead of keeping the intervals in one key, we could deviate from this. Uh, the 9th in the B at, uh, B5 at the 9th chord will be a C sharp, which is not part of the E minor scale. So here we briefly create an E Dorian sound. You may also see this as a modal interchange. Now, the chords of the progression look like this. E5 at the 9 or E sus2 containing the notes E, B and F sharp. C5 at the 9 or C sus2 containing the notes C, G and D. A5 added 9 or A sus2 containing the notes A, E and B, and B added 9 or B sus2 containing the notes B, F sharp and C sharp.
distortion will make the sound much more penetrating and aggressive as we've seen before. Now, before we go into a more daring solution and create some uh, nice fusion, fusion sounds with quartal chords, we're going to soften the progression and lean more towards jazz. Uh, we've added the 7th and the 9th uh, to the power chord individually. But now let's do a combination of those two and create some complex extended chords to create a jazz sound for our straightforward progression in E minor. Now, remember that we started off with this simple chord progression in E minor. E minor, C major, A minor, and B minor. Now let's go nuts with this and change the chords by adding 7th and 9th and also some other interesting extensions like the 11th and 13th. So we have E, mi e minor 9, C major 9, and C major 13, uh, sharp 11, A minor 7, A minor 11, and the B altered chord. In this case, all the extra notes come from the natural minor scale except for the B. Uh, we change the B minor 7 chord to a B major chord, a B altered chord to be exact. Now this chord has also an augmented fifth and creates a more interesting transition to the E minor chord. So now you can take these ideas and put them to use in your own composition uh, and use it uh, as an inspiration to come up with your own extended chord progressions. And you don't need to do overdo it, just replace some chords with extended chords. Now traditional triad chords uh, and extensions are built with major and minor thirds. Quartal chords however are built by stacking fourths instead of thirds. And this creates some awesome and ambiguous sounds that are typically used in jazz and fusion rock. Now I will do a tutorial about quartal uh, chord soon because it's a beautiful asset, asset for jazz, fusion and progressive rock. So when we stack fourths on top of the root notes of our progression in E minor, we'll get this picture. E quartal contains the notes E, A, D and G. C quartal contains the notes C, F, B and E. A quartal contains the notes A, D, G and C, and B quartal contains the notes B, E, A and D. Now, the progression sounds like this. The conclusion is that there are lots of ways to change a straightforward chord uh, progression or power chord progression into a fusion-like ambiguous sounding progression. Now, this will help you to write music that stands out and supplies the listener with interesting and beautiful chords. Now, whether you turn it into a more progressive rock style progression or you want to lean it more to uh, jazz and fusion, it can all be established with this way of thinking about chords. Well, I hope this was useful for you and just take this by the hand and develop this thing to be your own. Now greets from the Netherlands and I see you next time in a Q Gemtex video. Bye!